channel. My name is Vicki, otherwise known as Heartland Knits, on places like Instagram and Ravelry, though I'm never on Ravelry. And this is where I like to talk about my knitting and spinning and sewing. This is going to be a knitting episode. Before I get started, let me tell you about the sweater that I'm wearing. This is my Sophie cardigan. And let me kind of stand up and show you. It's short cropped length. And I knit this out of four skeins of Madeline Tosh DK, the plied one in the color tart. Um, it was, I made this several years ago and it's really nice. It's a short length, but it's nice to um, wear with dresses and things. So, and with the shorts and the kind of three quarter length sleeves, it's perfect for this time of year. Um, I, it, used only four skeins of this. I don't know really why I ended up with four skeins of DK in my stash, if I used one for something or or what, but this was a really good sweater if you are if you have a finite amount of yarn because it's knit from the top down and the button bands are knit at the same time so that um, once I separated for the sleeves, I knit the sleeves and then I did the neck band and then I could use every last little bit of yarn to knit the rest of the cardigan. And this is as far as four skeins took me, which was far enough. So today I thought you might enjoy seeing the things I got from Estonia. Last time I kind of teased you a little bit and said, I have a box from Estonia. So I thought maybe before I put all those things away, I would show you what I got. It all started because I saw this book mentioned on a Ravelry form years ago, like maybe three years ago, I don't know. It was a long time ago. And I had kept the page open on my phone for all that time. And this summer I just decided, it, you either need to buy that or let it go. But it's this tiny little book on Muhu birds. So Muhu is an island off the coast of Estonia. And much of their design calls for these kind of fanciful creatures, you know, birds and bees and, and things, but they use kind of very bright colors, you know, hot, shocking pink with bright orange and, and I really love birds. And so I wanted to, um, you know, give this, so this has all the little charts for the knitting, but it also has um, cross stitch charts for, for little birds. And it also has kind of cruel work um, for little birds. You know, has the drawings that you, you know, use then to um, embroider. So anyway, it was not expensive. I think it was five euros or seven euros or something like that, which is why I I I really kind of wanted this little book, but I didn't want to pay the just shipping on this little book. So. The website where, and I, I will put links to everything down in the description box, but that website, they're the publishers of the great big, sh like shawl knitting books, lace knitting books like this one, this Hapsala shawl, um, which have these, you know, beautiful, beautiful lace shawls with the noops and everything. And I love knitting these things. And so they also have the yarn that the publisher or the um, author of those books says is the best yarn to use. And they brand it under this brand called HEA. And it's a, a, a very fine lace weight. So you can see it's very thin. And um, this is a beautiful color called, they call raindrop, which is this light kind of blue, kind of grayed down. And this is 1,500 yards in 100 grams, and it's 30 slash two, so it's a two ply, but it's you know quite thin. And they, it says that this is supposed to really hold the block nicely when you knit a shawl out of it. It stays nice, it doesn't collapse in on itself after a little bit. So I can't wait to give this a try. They have lots of different colors, and I am sure I'm going to um, probably get a few more colors of it um, once I try this. 
At the same time, they also have the little needles to go with it. And now you'll see that these are really short little needles. They're like kind of, they're, well, these are 19 millimeters. They also have 14 millimeter ones. And these are two and a half um, size, 2.5 millimeters. So they're like a two and a half. Um, or no, they're size one and a half, 2.5 millimeters. And like a nice rosewood, they have a nice kind of point on them. And I have knit shawls on double points with kind of a rubber band to use as a stopper on the end. And that's kind of in effect what these are. It's really nice. Um, Kalina Kamaleva, I, get, I took a workshop from her years and years and years ago. And she said the Orenberg knitters knit on short needles like this because it's actually faster. And I've knit a great big square shawl um, on double points like that because you don't have to do any sort of like shifting the, the stitches up off of a cable or like push them up. They're always kind of just right underneath your hands. So I thought I would get a, a set of those. And then the these kind of shawls usually have a kind of a, they're a, like a big square center and then edging around it. And the edging is traditionally done by sewing it on. So I've made a lot of, I've made a lot of these shawls. I've never done that sewing on business. I've, I've done a separate edging, but then I've put it on in a Russian graft kind of way. But because I was ordering from there and they had these, so this is called a bodkin and it's a long needle, but the end of it is not sharp. It's got sort of a little ball at the end, and that is for when you're sewing it, you're not going to pierce the yarn and like split the yarn plies because it has this little ball. And so since I was ordering from them, I thought, and I thought I would get it, and I will probably maybe like try a shawl and do it in that traditional way, just to have said, said I've done that once. So then the other two things I got were my two glove kits. So they came boxed in these really nice kind of little boxes. And the whole thing was boxed and packaged nicely. Like even around the corners of these boxes, they had little kind of styrofoam corners so that the box, the corners of the boxes didn't get pushed in. So it would make a, like a really nice kind of gift. Um, you know, they came a long way and it came in a nice shape. So you open up the box and um, this drops out. This is the pattern. And so the box has this kind of plastic, which I'm sure I'm going to kind of recycle those boxes in using for storage, probably, probably something in the sewing room because it's nice. You can see what you've got in there. So I will probably do that. But this is um, the pattern for my second glove. It's Gloves from Muhu Island, and um, it's a nice cardstock. The charts are colored, yeah. And then inside the box is all the yarn. You get this package of double points, and these are prim um, 1.25 millimeters or quadruple zero needles, and then all of the yarn. The, the colors are wound they're like little mini skeins so that you have to wind them up and then like one skein of kind of the main color but you can see like all the color like I'm trying to like let it fall out but you get a fair amount of all the colors these are gloves um, with a design from Muhu Island so you can see what I mean about the shocking pink and the orange so this is my cuff of my first one and I'm doing that on the double points and yeah they're like super fun. They had a really, really pretty um, design that they were Muhu Island gloves that had a black background. And so those colors just really stood up, stood out against that black. But this charcoal-y, heathery gray is hard enough to see for me. So though those black ones were really, really, really pretty. So anyway, it's got this kind of um, traditional sort of um, chevron sort of design 
And then my other one I was the lace glove that I showed the last time. I will show you how far I've gotten um, in a week. So the last time I was just at the point where I was going to break for the thumb gusset. So now I'm up to where the sleeves or where the, the uh, fingers are going to start. And yeah, I am loving these so much. So yeah, so there's the back of the hand and the lace patterning more rows after you, you know, cut off the stitches for the little finger. You do a few more rows because your little finger is lower down than the rest of your fingers. So then here's the thumb gusset. This is just on some um, hand spun there. The coolest thing is it has this little gusset at the back of the thumb. So I've done gloves where there are gussets on the fingers, but I've never seen it on the back of the thumb like this. It makes it fit so nicely. And then it has this kind of pearl the, along on the thumb gusset. When you're working the thumb gusset, it's got a little pearl kind of edge like along where the increases are. And you keep working that so you've decreased. And so there's just these few stitches. And I thought, well, that's just kind of odd. It just kind of stops when you start the fingers. But then when I've put it on, when I finally got it and I put it on, it just makes it a little more elastic kind of in that area where your hand is going to move or it might, you know, different hand sizes might be different. It's just a very clever shape. I've never seen that anywhere. So yeah, I'm, I'm really, so I'm just going to start the fingers. I'm trying to decide if I should do the fingers on double point. So usually when I am knitting gloves, I have special little double points that I use for the fingers. They're four inches long so that there's not so many stitches. These are, you know, kind of eight inches long. So that will be kind of a pain to do. I don't know, but I think that it'll be better than a long circular to do magic loop on the fingers. I would probably do them on double points, but yeah, I'm really enjoying knitting this. So that was my little haul from Estonia. I do think there will be another box on the way. I found out that there is a brand new one of those sort of um, Estonian lace books that I think I need to have, plus different colors of that lace yarn. It's just, it's really nice quality. So there will probably be another box on the way. So I hope you enjoyed that little knitting haul from Estonia. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not already a subscriber, please do consider subscribing. And you can follow me on Instagram. My um, handle is Heartland Knits. And I will put links to, to that down in the description box too. But until I see you next time, from my heart to yours, happy knitting.